Hey, it's Emma Lou with Heartfelt Creations. Hello to all my creative scrapbooker friends and fans on the Creative Scrapbooker page. It's so good to be with you today. Thank you, Jackie and the team at Creative Scrapbooker for inviting me to do a Facebook Live. I'm gonna share how to create a flower from paper using some dimension, some color, um, and it's an easy way to add quick embellishments to your paper crafted projects. Now, um, if you are new to Heartfelt Creations, my name is Emma Lou. Um, we are a family owned company based out of un the US in Indiana. Um, we love to bring you the paper crafter products that allow you to create beautiful, elegant, dimensional projects that you can um, give to your friends and family or is something that inspires you and you can use as a master masterpiece in your home. Maybe you do a lot of scrapbooking. So we're going to have some fun. Um, I would love to know where you're from. So if you could leave a comment, uh, introduce yourself so you and I can get to know each other a little bit better. That would be amazing. So if you come on in, we are going to show how to create these beautiful little flowering dogwoods. This has been our number one selling flower for 2017 and you'll see why in just a little bit. It's so fun, it's so versatile. Um, I am going to use the Teal Zeal Memento ink, that's a fast drying ink, and I'm using, um, just inking up the dogwoods. Um, I have two stamps on one block for just quick and easy stamping that allows me to stamp multiple images at one time. So we'll um, just give that some firm, even pressure and we'll lift that right up and you've got those beautiful stamped dimension or stamped images isn't that beautiful so what i just got finished using is the flowering dogwood a uh, stamp set um, if you have this one already can you pop in the comments what you've used it for and what you like about it that would be amazing um, the die that cuts it out is this one um, so you have all those flower sizes the stamens and the leaves i have hundreds of ladies that have told me, Emily, this is my favorite flower. It's simple to use, it's elegant, um, and you can achieve so many different looks. So versatility is something that uh, crafters all around the globe absolutely love with this one. So to color it, if you're new to paper crafting, you've seen paper flowers and you're like, I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if, um, if it's for me. Um, just pick out your favorite colors. I chose to do a little bit more of a non-traditional color this morning. Um, so if you're just joining me, welcome. Let us know uh, where you're watching from. Introduce yourself. Um, I am using a New Sprout Memento ink, um, and I just quickly add a little bit of color to this, and then you're ready to cut it out. To cut it out with a die, um, I lay this on top, um, tape it down with some painter's tape, run it through your manual die cutting machine, and once that's cut out, you have an image that looks like this. So um, with one pass of the machine, you have all these flowers that are all cut out, and ready to use in your paper crafted projects. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness, it's so easy to use. So um, for the next step in coloring before we go into shaping, I like to use the, um, oops, wrong color. Make sure you're using your right color. We're gonna use the teal zeal and just go around the edges. So if you're a crafter that loves fun color, explore with different coloring options, you can get completely different looks. See how quickly you add that? If you haven't used these dabbers yet, these are something new, this is, um, the Heartfelt Creations stack and store daubers, very uh, nice for precision. So once you have that colored, you can go ahead and you're ready to shape. So if you've never shaped before, or maybe you are a paper crafter that has tried it and you thought, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can do this or if it, um, or what are the techniques? I am using the Deluxe Flower Shaping Toolkit. Um, I am using the uh, two millimeter and the eight millimeter tip and then the molding mat. Mine is well loved and used as you can see. I'm just gonna pop this open. This is a flower maker or dream, dream shaping kit. So this is your stylus and I'm just gonna bring this to the side. Um, for this one, I'm going to wet this just a little bit so that makes it easier for shaping. So once you've added some of the um, wetness, I'll just do a, a quick circular motion in the center and you've got a basic shape. Then you'll press down in the middle. The harder you press, the more dimension you get. That gets you a basic shape. That is what I did for this flower. You can do just single dimension if you're doing something um, that you don't want as much dimension. Look at this project. So this project was part of a calendar and it's flat with some glossy accents on top. So if you're doing like scrapbooking, this is very stiff, this will not wear out. So that's a, a beautiful way to use that. Another tip with this one, if you wanna take it to the next level, you've already sprayed this, it's wet in the back. What you'll do is you will take 
this is with the flower that we're looking at creating. What you'll do is you will take the ruffled, to create a ruffled tip, use the small tip. You can use the two millimeter tip or the three millimeter tip, whichever you prefer, and just press, press, press. So if you can just do that, press, press, press around the edges. Do you see how that's starting to crinkle? Oh my gosh, I love that. So if you're just joining us, um, welcome. We would love to hear from you here where you're watching from. And if you already have the flowering dog with stamp and die, if you could just pop in the comments what you like, love about it, that would be amazing. Um, so you've got that dimension and we'll flip that around and again, just press down in the middle. Uh, another quick tip, if you fold the flowering molding mat in half, and just press down. Do you see how that gives it even more dimension? So you are in control over how much dimension that you get on your um, specific flower. So once you're finished with that, um, you can do one layer, you can do two. I'm going to go ahead and um, pop these two together. Just add a little bit of glue on the back. Oops, that's going to fall and then just offset those petals. So just in a matter of seconds, you've got a flower that is ready to pop onto your scrapbook pages. You can make them any color you want or you can use them on, on your uh, cards, altar projects. And then the stamen, this comes in the die set as well. Um, so you can kind of just roll that up, glue it together. See that little piece? Um, you can choose to use that. Um, just add some glue at the tip and add that into the center of your flower and you're ready to glitter it. Um, you could also, if you're just using the single flower, just add some pearls. Do you see how beautifully that's glittered in the center? Oh my gosh, I just love how that turns out. Um, so we're gonna take, that is the basics. If you just joined us, um, once the Facebook Live is over, you're gonna be able to go back and rewatch it um, so you don't miss out on this flower shaping uh, technique. This was done with the flowering dogwood stamp and die set from Heartfelt Creations along, um, this is the die. So with this one, you get to have all these flower stamps, the leaves, and the die has those stamens. So essentially with one stamp and die set, you can create all the different flowers that you see on the table here. So you can do um, something like I just did with um, the flower that I just shaped. Um, you can do beautiful vellum florals. You see those, you see how delicate the leaves look? or you can just do those single flowers. So the options with this one are virtually, the possibilities are endless with this. You see how this one's all crinkled up? Completely different um, look with that. Um, and I see Jackie, you said you make it look so easy and the thing of it is just practice with it and you become comfortable with it and you'll be making these flowers in no time. I have um, taught thousands of people how to shape these flowers. These were people that didn't think they could make paper flowers like you're seeing. Um, but once they just practiced a little bit, once you've done your ninth, your tenth flower, you're like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. But anytime you do something new, you just need to practice a little bit. Um, so here you see some more samples um, of just different sizes and different ways that you can um, use the flowering dogwood. So here are some loose ones um, that are ready to be used on a paper project. See how beautifully that clusters together? So hopefully this inspired you to get into your craft room today, to make some beautiful florals. If you don't have the flowering dogwood yet, uh, make sure to visit a retailer near you. Um, or if you don't have a retailer near you, it's also available at heartfeltcreations.us. Um, have an amazing day. Thank you for being part of the paper crafting community, part of Creative Scrapbooker and Heartfelt Creations. Thank you to the ladies at Creative Scrapbooker for allowing me to do this Facebook book live. If you um, have not subscribed to the Creative Scrapbooker magazine, you are missing out. It's one of my favorite magazines. They are absolutely uh, amazing to work with and the gals at Creative Scrapbooker really care about you, the paper crafter, um, getting inspiration. It's not just about um, giving you another paper crafter project, but really helping you to um, create the projects that you care and love. So thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you later. Bye. Mwah.